I started the channel out of boredom. Um, I did start it because it was lockdown. I'd done, I've done social media for quite a while, but I kind of fell off, on and off, because life gets in the way. So there's always something like, you know, teaching or something else come up. And then lockdown, and we had nothing else to do, did we? So I was literally like, okay, I'll just do the dance trends. Everybody was on Zoom calls and everybody was either, you were doing two of two things. You were either Zoom calling or you were dancing on TikTok. So I was dancing on TikTok. And then after that, I just spent a lot of time in bed. And one day I just picked up my phone and I saw a video and I reacted to it. 20 seconds and then I went back to sleep. I went for my second nap of the day and woke up to like a million views and I thought, oh wow, what's happened here? And then it just became this thing. And the I'm rich, you're poor thing actually just came out of nowhere. I can't even tell. People ask me this and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know where <laughs> I'm rich, you're poor came from. I just sort of like had this inclination that when this person is saying, showing what they have, they essentially saying, I'm rich, you're poor. So I just was like, on today's episode of I'm Rich, You're Poor, and then a, a year later, 1.6 million followers later, and a book later, I <laughs> have a brand. I was like, oh my God, what's happened? So yeah. And this is comedian on, on the front of your book. How do you feel about being both now a teacher and a social media star and a comedian? Oh, um, do you know what? I think I've always been all three. I mean, less so a social media star. I would say comedian and teacher are definitely... If you ask any of my pupils, they would say... Yeah, I, I mean, the jokes that are in I'm Rich, You're Poor, the book, it's it's pretty much, and my, my voice is so in there. Like, I've I've given the chapter to, the first introduction to a couple of my pupils. I just like, read it and tell me what you think. And they've gone, you sound exactly like you sound in real life. Like, it's like I'm hearing your voice. Um, So that, so, yeah, I think the comedian's always been there. I've... I'm the fart at funeral. I am that teacher <laughs> where I'm always cracking jokes at the most awkward moments. So something will happen and we'll get told off and I'll walk out and I'll be like, oh my God, we got told. And it, everyone's like, Shmaz, not right now. You know what I mean? I don't take anything seriously. So, and I think the kids know that as well. So like, you know, I'll poke fun at them. When they're writing, it's usually really funny when they're doing like silent work. I get really awkward. I'm like, this is really awkward. So I'll like make noises. They're like, you're the teacher. Like, how are you making the noises? Like, I'm like oh. Yeah, so the comedians, uh, social media, oh, I don't know. I don't, uh, I, it's, it's still an odd one because I still don't consider myself like social media famous. Yeah. I just don't have it in me to be like imposter syndrome, maybe. Mm -hmm. I just don't feel, I just feel like I'm just making people laugh. Yeah. I'm still the same person making people laugh, so yeah. Did the kids' reactions change to you? Did they become better behaved or anything once you became big on 100%. social media? 100%. Like, I think mo most of them, I like to think I have brilliant behaviour management, but really it's the social media thing. Like nobody wants to annoy the social media teacher. <laughs> you nobody wants a video made about them. Not that I ever would, but no, in their mind they think, "Oh God, can you imagine he makes a video about me?" Um, <laughs> I think that I think they've gotten over it though. The novelty's wore off. Like right. now they're like, yeah, "We we know we," and they hear a lot of my friends and family hear the jokes. So like the book, a lot of my friends and family have bought it. You know, they bought I'm Rich Your Puff because they're like, "I'll support you," but realistically they're like yeah we've already heard those jokes a million times a million times before so the kids are like the same they're like yeah you still are a science teacher that gives us detention so the novelty's wore off definitely for them